life without parole. Today, a jury convicted Bernika Lott of brutally beating a five-year-old girl to death. Lott was keeping that child, her goddaughter, Daviana Landry in Orange, when police later found the child dead. Now, Lott was charged with capital murder in connection to the 2020 death. The defense tried to pin the murder on Lott's 14-year-old son, but the jury didn't buy it. And 12 News reporter Kara Willis has been following the trial gavel to gavel, and she has the reaction from family tonight on the guilty verdict. Kara. Guys, Daviana's family rushed out of court today happily, rushing out, hugging each other tight, saying repeatedly she's guilty, she's guilty. And even though all of her family couldn't come out today for court, it was okay because they all rushed outside to call the ones that couldn't make it to tell them the news. Now, just moments after the verdict was reached, Bernika Lott was sentenced to life without parole. Police walked her out of the courtroom, and as she walked onto the elevator, she hung her head in tears. Police walked her out of the courtroom as she walked into the elevator. One of the prosecutors, Crispin Walker, declined to comment on the decision. Lott's attorney, Ryan Gertz, says he disagrees with the decision and that they're not giving up. A family friend of Dobby's mom, Latasha Johnson, says that she can't believe Lot would blame this on her son. Uh, respect the jury process, but respectfully disagree with the, the result that the jury reached here. Uh, we believe our client is innocent. We're going to continue on in the process of appealing this case. We'll follow an appeal, a notice of appeal on Monday, first thing. Yeah, we been knew that she was guilty. For her to put that on her child and her family to go along with her, knowing that that baby couldn't do couldn't that, they just as sick as her. Now, Gert says he believed there was sufficient evidence to show that Lot's son was the perpetrator, but the jury felt otherwise. Now, the family um, after court today said that they were going to the store to get some balloons to have a balloon release at Lot's home here in Orange to remember their sweet Dobby. And they said that they will keep her legacy going on. In Orange, Kara Willis, 12 News.